I think investors should be excited about an increase in interest rates. And unfortunately, it seems like investors are fearful about rising rates. And I know that in the short term, rising rates means a decline in bond prices. But the reality is people will finally start earning money again on their bond portfolio. And for that reason, I think people should be excited about rates going up. Certainly, you have to be concerned about how you manage the risk in a bond portfolio when rates rise. Uh, but because both economic growth and inflation are tame, and those are the things that drive interest rates, I think the rise in interest rates will be relatively tame. And as a result, I think people should be happy that they might start making some money on money market funds, as an example. Alternative or what we refer to as complementary investments play a larger role in our portfolios for two reasons, really. One has to do with the fact that our outlook or our capital market expectations for returns in traditional investments like U.S. stocks and U.S. bonds is considerably lower than the long-term historical average. As an example, the U.S. stock market uh, is likely to produce a return between 6 and 7 percent, where the long-term average is over 10 percent. So in thinking about constructing a portfolio, we've begun to use more complementary investments where the return profile of the investment looks like what we'd expect on a historical basis from stocks or bonds, but the way that that return is achieved is a little bit different from a traditional investment strategy. So as a result, we have clients who have anywhere from 10 to 30 percent of their portfolio invested in complementary investments. The market at this time is being debated in terms of whether it's fairly valued or expensive as a result of a change in the earnings growth rate. And I think our view is that the market is fairly valued at present. The earnings growth rate that we've experienced has been in excess of 10 percent for almost five years and is likely to be a lot lower this year. But at the same time, we don't think the market is so expensive that people shouldn't continue to be invested. They just need to be more cautious than we have been over the last several years.